Lucas Media. So I want to report on some sad, horrible news that happened. Uh, it seemed to go viral over the weekend, but the young man, Taron Toward, who walked on at the University of Alabama for Coach Staben, was being transferred to North Carolina, was transferred to North Carolina State University, which is the HBCU down there. Uh, I believe it's in Durham. And he gets in a minor accident. Now, while he gets out to check on the passenger as a, you know, uh, any civilian, honest civilian would do, he gets hit by a car at full speed. Well, his family came out and said he had traumatic uh, brain trauma and that it wasn't necessarily looking good. Now, the family was trying to get him to go to trying to get him to be transported back to Houston. They had a special center down there. They were trying to raise the money. And I saw where they raised over forty thousand dollars. Well, his health, according to a report, started to decline. And um, the hospital he was at, which is a private hospital, was pretty much telling his family that he's uh, no longer here. Now, the parents goes on uh, Instagram live and uh, the dad's talking and the mom is singing to the son trying to bring him back to life and they're applying CPR. I, I've seen other channels show the video. I can't. I'm sorry. It was too emotional for me, especially as a black man who has a, a black son that ain't that much younger than him. But, you know, the mom and uh, the young man's girl and the dad were pretty much accusing the hospital of trying to eliminate him so they can get his organs and said that they put stuff in uh, the IVs to end his life. And the whole time they were doing CPR and uh, the police ended up coming and making the family leave. Now, I've seen a lot of people online saying that he, he that the hospital did it. And that's why people like us, people, you know, black people shouldn't be organ donors. And then I seen a whole bunch of other people saying that, you know, the he was gone and, you know, the family don't know what's going on and. Yeah, so let me just let me just say this. I'm trying not to get emotional. I don't know exactly what was going on. I don't know what was going on. But what I do know is hospitals aren't don't necessarily give us the best information. And I also know that when families are grieving, especially over over a child, no person, nobody should ever have to bury their kids. I don't care who it is, me, you, people that I don't like, like nobody should ever have to bury their child expressing something that happened so tragic as this so it could have that could have been the the part where the family didn't necessarily want to believe it but at the same time you know speaking as a black person we know how these hospitals is you know even a personal thing on my side they they took my father to the hospital he had he was fine and by the time i get there he had cardiac arrest and he was no longer here now they never really explained to me how that happened and i was also a very 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 i was still a kid so I wasn't able to, to grill them, but these are things that you see, and we're taught not to go to doctors and stay away from hospitals, especially a lot of us millennials who parents were, uh, like my father was a baby boomer. We didn't do that, and it's because of stuff like this. So unfortunately, him being at a private hospital and nobody was around that looked like him or his his mother or father, or, you know, were able to tell them, you know, the unfortunate news. So, I mean, this is one of those things where I don't fault the family. You know, I, I'm never going to fault nobody for panicking over the over their kids. And it's just it's just sad, man. From what I'm hearing, he was, a, like I said, an upstanding young man. Walked on at the University of Alabama. That says a lot right there. You know, he wasn't afraid of competition. And, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, life, all of us have, all of us got our day. We just don't know when it's going to happen. And, you know, for him to be so young, he was 20 years old, 22 years old, just, a, you know, just a young man. Well, no, he's 20. My daughter graduated the same year as him. So it's just, you know, we, we should never experience that. But for the people who are going on a family, you know, have you guys ever buried a loved one? And the people who are non-black, do y'all not understand the, the things that we go through? But this hospital should be able to put out a statement and evidence if you know, what they're saying is not true. Or what, if they're rebuting what the family's saying, they should be able to put that information out there. But it, it was just hard. It was really hard for me to watch. But I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me y'all honest opinion.